Hi guys, welcome to another audio video. In that reading, Isaiah 44 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offering. Their, thy offspring, sorry guys. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. And who, as I, shall call, and shall declare it, and set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people? And the things that are coming, and shall come, let them shew unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time, and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. They that make a graven image are all of them vanity, and their delectable things shall not profit, and they are their own witnesses. They see not, nor know that they may be ashamed. Who hath formed a god or molten image that is profitable for nothing? Behold, all his fellows shall be ashamed, and the workmen, they are of men. Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up, yet they shall fear, and they shall be ashamed together. The smith with the thongs both worketh in the coals, and fashioneth it with ammos, and worketh it with the strength of his arms. Yea, he is hungry, and his strength faileth, he drinketh no water, and is faint. The carpenter stretcheth out his rule, he, mark, he marketh it out with a line, he fitteth it with planes, and he marketh it out with the compass, and maketh it after the image of a man according to the beauty of a man, that it may remain in the house. He heweth him down cedars, and taketh the cypress, the cypress and the oak, which he strengtheneth for himself among the trees of the forest. He planteth an ash, and the grain doth nourish it. Then shall it be for a man to burn, for he will take thereof, and warm himself, yea, he kindleth it, and baketh bread. Yea, he maketh a god, and worshippeth it. He maketh it a graven image, and falleth down thereto. He burneth part thereof in the fire. With part thereof he eateth flesh. He roasteth roast, and he is satisfied. Yea, he warmeth himself, and saith, Aha, I am warm. I have seen the fire. And the residue thereof, he maketh a god, even his graven image. He falleth down unto it, and worshippeth it, and prayeth unto it, and saith, Deliver me, for thou art my god. They have not known nor understood, for he that shut their eyes, that they cannot see, and their hearts, that they cannot understand. And not considereth in his heart, neither is their knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Yea, also I have baked bread upon the coals thereof. I have roasted flesh and eaten it. And shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? Shall I fall down to the, sto to the stalk of a tree? He feedeth on ashes. A deceived heart hath turned him aside, and he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? 
Remember this, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant, I have formed thee, thou art my servant. O Israel, thou shalt not be forgotten of me. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Sing, O ye heavens, for the Lord hath done it. Shout, ye lower parts of the earth. Break forth into singing, ye mountains, O forest, and every tree therein. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and glorified himself in Israel. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, that frustrateth the tokens of the liars, and maketh diviners, diviners mad, that turneth wise men backward, and maketh their knowledge foolish, that confirmeth the word of his servant, and performeth the counsel of his messengers, that saith to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof, that saith to the deep, Be dry, and I will dry up thy rivers. That saith of Cyprus, He is my shepherd, and shall perform all my pleasure, even saying to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be built, and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid. Alright guys, so in this chapter we see where the Lord, yet again, He goes on to reassure his people that he is indeed the true and living god the one and true living god there is none like him there is none that can compare to him he is god by himself and you know there's this song that we like to sing at church and i love it but i do not know it very well <laughs> i'm sorry i'm i'm just being honest i do not know it very well but yeah so that's that but guys the Lord is letting us know that we should not worship any images because those are all the works of men. We, he goes to explain how it is that men feel themselves. And not only that, he said something very important because he said that he that blind their eyes so they cannot see and close off their hearts so they cannot understand. Who do you think is the he that he's referring to? The devil, of course. And so we should understand that the devil does not want us to realize that there is only one God and we should put our trust in him because he's all powerful. And that is where we falter at times. And guys, I urge you to just remain in the will of God and let him lead, guide and direct you. And you will not be able to fall prey to the wiles of the enemy once you surrender to God and once you allow him to lead you because you can surrender and you still at times do not follow his guidance and that's where trouble comes to your door and you do not want that. And so I just encourage you all not to take your eyes off your God. Do not take your eyes off the one true and living God, the God that make heaven, the God that does not answer to anybody, the God of all knowledge, right? Because he is, it is he that made us. It is he that made everything that is upon the face of the earth. And like I said before in another video, we don't want to worship the created items we don't want to worship items we want to worship or things we want to worship the creator of all things right and so guys please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye